Hey guys, welcome back to Living Life Barefoot. In today's video, Dylan and I are gonna show you how easy it is to start your own sweet potato slips. All you need is glass jars, some filtered water, toothpicks, and some sweet potatoes. So these are sweet potatoes that came out of our garden last year, and that's what we're gonna start our slips with today. Now, if you don't have any of your own sweet potatoes, you can buy organic sweet potatoes from the store and start your slips with. It has to be organic sweet potatoes because they spray something on non-organic sweet potatoes that stops them from producing slips. So they do have to be organic sweet potatoes. So now we're gonna fill the cups up with water. That right there would be good. Here I have the regular orange sweet potatoes and I actually have the purple sweet potatoes which are really really good. The purple pigment is called anthocyanin and that is rich in antioxidants so I'm always trying to add purple food to my meals as much as I can. Your orange sweet potatoes are going to be more sweeter like you're used to and your purple ones are gonna be more like a starchy vegetable. So they're not as sweet, but they're both really, really good. Dylan filled up our cups with water and what we're gonna do, Dylan, is we are gonna take, just take it through. Oop, this one may have too much water. Okay, so sometimes it's easy to make like a watermark where you're gonna stick it in. Mm -hmm. And then you know where your toothpicks go. And so, um, whoa, not that far down. <laughs> so I always like to put two or three toothpicks in. There you go. Yeah, but let's make sure you're putting it on the right side. So a lot of times you'll know which side goes in the water by looking at the bigger bottom part will go inside oh, the water. I went wrong. Good. Okay, Let and you just do it just like that. Like there? Uh, yeah, that's good. You'll get anywhere from 20, 30 slips off of one sweet potato. You can just continue to pull them off and stick them in water when it's ready. Uh, that usually takes two or three weeks um, until they're ready. And we actually brought this big boy in because it actually already had a slip growing on it. It did fall off when I was bringing it in here. But now I can kind of show you what you need to do once you get a slip. What size is the bigger side? This one? Mm, good question. This I, one? I think that's it. Bang, bang. Yep, I think we'll stick that side down. Right there. Enjoying the video? Yeah. <laughs> right there? Uh, yep, that's good. So this is so easy to do and you can make your own slips. And this would be a great way if you had several uh, from your garden last year, this would be a wonderful way to earn a few bucks. Maybe you wanna sell some of your sweet potato slips. That would be a really cool thing. Gavin's out. <laughs> We're gonna stick these by the window sill uh, in some sun. One more. Okay. And do you want me to do it? Okay. You think that's like? Stick that one corner thing. The, so they're just gonna sit in the window sill to get some sunlight. Start getting little uh, slips on them. Two, three weeks maybe. Um, so just keep an eye on them. You will have to switch out your water. Just pay attention when it starts getting yucky in there. Maybe switch out your water. So once your slips get about five to six inches long, you're going to just break them off and then you're gonna actually stick them in fresh water where they will start to root and they'll continue to grow and get bigger leaves and they'll start growing really long. Um, so you'll just continue to pick them off. So growing your own sweet potato slips are super easy to do. 
kids can even do them. I highly suggest you guys try it out. Leave a comment below. Are you a sweet potato person or a regular potato person? I like them both. I'm a sweet potato. Me too. We like making homemade french fries with the regular potatoes and the sweet potatoes. So leave a comment below. What's your favorite? I'm going to leave some pictures here of our sweet potato slips that we have grown over the last couple years and our sweet potato harvest from the garden. Now sweet potato slips like loomy loose soil and you'll plant them about 12 inches apart and you definitely want to give them a lot a lot of water when you first plant them. So check back a little later and we will share when we start planting our sweet potato slips in our raised beds. I hope you enjoyed today's video and please remember to subscribe to our channel and like and share our videos. See you guys later. Bye.